Good morning. Happy Sunday to everyone. May the Lord God bless you. And we praise the name of the Lord for this uh, wonderful month of August the Lord gave to us. That's why we came humbly in His holy presence this morning to talk about life, to receive life from Him. Remember in the book of Psalms, chapter 100. And for the Lord says, when he sent, when he sent his spirit, we born again and we get life. It means without his spirit, the spirit of Almighty God, all of us, we are surviving like deaf people. It means like the people passed away a long time. So the only things brought life to us and gave us the life is this living word of living God. That's why we come this morning, we will continue this uh, chapter with that because we want everybody understand the reason why we want, we're asking all those questions regarding uh, uh, to be taken away. Are you ready to take it away? Are you already in the position to be taken away are you ready taken away all those different questions we are asking is only to prepare you because the bride of christ is not remaining again here the things of god not works regarding the intelligence or acknowledge of people not the way we are reasoning not god is not in five sense of uh, the uh, soul or the five senses of this flesh. No, God is not there. The way God, God do his thing, the way the things of God can be done is different with our. So we have to stand on the scripture. From the scripture, we will understand exactly if the bride of Christ is still here or the bride of Christ is being taken away already. Is in the position just to disappear. Do you understand? That is the things we are talking right now this morning. The bride of Jesus Christ is in the position of uh, waiting just to disappear. It doesn't have nothing else regarding on the way the people are waiting. Because the whole wide regarding the Bible, as the scripture says, it says, all the nation, the world wide was waiting the manifestation of the sons of God. So the Son of God being manifested because the judgment came in the world, the judgment came in the earth when God sent prophets. When the prophet of God came in this world and he preached, he sounded the trumpet, the judgment took place. So those ones the received to receive the Holy Ghost, maybe they didn't they didn't understand how this man, this poor man can tell us we receive, we refuse, sorry, we refuse to receive the baptism of Holy Ghost. Yes, the people who received to receive the baptism, uh, the baptism of Holy Ghost, why they refused, how they refused it is because of the way provided by, by God is provided the way in the time of Moses. Remember, we read it in the book of Psalm 106 last Sunday. Reminding you what happened in the time of Israel being taken from Egypt to the land of promise. is the same way we are marching like them, coming from Egypt, which is in the world, Build with the system of churches because devil Satan is not in the place we are expecting him. The devil is not the way the people are putting him is a black person like this, what, what, no. The devil is a system that is the leading on the churches, the denomination churches. Those one they build that system. And that system does not, didn't start today. That system started in the beginning. You see, it means to come and brought the people reasoning to the word of God. Doubt on that, that set the load. So 
the bride of Jesus Christ, whereas we are talking, it being taken position because he didn't take position on the churches. There is not any denomination can save your soul. Only the word of God. Because in the beginning, if it was the word, the word was with God, the word was God. Those ones, they stand with the word. They are the one. They are saving their soul. They are saving their life. It means their spirit is close. Uh, or, uh, uh, what I can say is, with the Lord, they are living at the heavenly place already. Because this word came the, from the heavenly place. It means those people, as God is supernatural, they also they become supernatural because inside of their bone, blood, muscles, everything, it's written only, that said the Lord, that said the Lord. When it want to think about something, we'll think it regarding on what has been, uh, uh, what I can say, written. Everything you want to do, if you do something wrong, directly, that said the Lord, the scripture will come to him and pull him to say, Oh Lord, forgive me. If he did it to someone, he said, Go directly to that beloved to say, Oh my beloved, that things I did is not correct. Please forgive me. Because of what? Because the scripture, the living word of living God is inside of him. That is then. So those who are the refused, how? Maybe you can ask this question. How you can say that? Because the people are speaking in tongue. They are prophets. They are prophesies. Uh, what I can say again, uh, they are doing all of those things of healing, crying, dancing, singing for the glory of the Lord, as the people can say, but how we can tell them they refuse because all they are doing in the church is, is to glorify God. Paul, on the time, in an example we are giving with the children of Israel, when they fight the will of God, it was when they reject the prophet of God, Moses. Because God, we cannot see him. God is hiding himself because he's a spirit. He's a great spirit. He's a almighty. Imagine with this body, weak body, this is, that we have. Can you be stand in the presence of Almighty while Israel being sanctified three days for them to be able to stand in the presence of Almighty God? That time when he was coming on the mountain, it's written in the book of, in the, I think, uh, in the Old Testament, just for us to save time, not to reading again. Who is it? Because it, uh, different places, the, that's, uh, what I can say is his story being written. So God said to Moses, Moses, tell them to sanctify three days and to prepare themselves to come. But don't tell me to come near the mountain. They must stand, the mountain, they must stand so far. But imagine when God spoke to Moses, Moses, my servant, then there was here the thunders. Do you understand? It was the thunders. So they could not stand there. They ran away. They said, no, 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 Moses, stop, stop. Please, we're going to die us and our children. Please, you go and listen. Receive what the Lord God will tell you and come tell us we're going to believe in you. We're going to believe in you. So if you read the scripture, God was so happy. The decision a human being took to listen to the human being. But imagine the people can listen to the king of this world, to the president, to the ministers, to the mayors. But for them to listen to God's voice, it is a problem. That's the, you know, what we say. The people received the baptism of Holy Ghost. They received to receive the Holy Spirit of God in them, in their soul. Others in the church, they receive it in, this, in their spirit. Where there is no faith, there is only doubt. So that's why they are manifesting the gift of speaking tongue, all of those things. The sensations, you see. So all, all those emotional things cannot save you cannot prepare, you cannot help you to take decision. Decision to cannot help you to be a member in the mystical 
body of Jesus Christ. That is the real church being prepared for us, you see, from the big, before the beginning. That's why when he came, he paid the price. He said, uh, myself, I gave myself my life for you. To that they said, it means that church cannot build by the hand of human being. Where we are member is, Apostle Paul said in the book of 1 Corinthians, other is the highs of Jesus, other is here, other is finger, this one, another one is his leg. All of us we build this body with different gifts God gave to us. Do understand? So the same thing the people received to work with Moses, they was thinking to return to the Egypt with the system of Egypt because it was that time the like in the United States of America it was that time in like, like Europe it was that time like uh, in China it become you can see like this you say oh it's so nice it's like oh it's amazing it's beautiful all of those things took the people to worship the devil but they're saying they are Christian because God you cannot mix him Never you can mix the night and night and day. If you mix the night and day, what will happen? You see, no one can work. Even in the sky, down here, the light will not be there. It will be night completely. You see? So if the Lord God, amen, Someone is, someone is disturbing me there. It's cold. I don't know why. As long as I'm doing live. I, okay. I'm so sorry for that. Let us continue. Yes. So, to receive, to refuse, sorry. To, to refuse Holy Ghost in you, it's simple. Just to reject the sound of the trumpet. And the sound of the trumpet is the gospel of the time that's why we're gonna read the scripture most of us we will understand if we receive it or we are ready to receive it we, we want to take position 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 to receive it or we reject it we reject him if i can say the holy spirit let us quickly read and um book of one thessalonians uh Chapter 4, we will start from verse 13 to verse uh, 18. Let us read for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our brother, we want you to know that truth about those who have died, so that you will not be said as, sorry, as are those who have no hope. Amen. We believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will take back with Jesus those who have died believing in him. Amen. Verse 15. What we are teaching you now is the Lord teaching. Uh -huh, sorry. What we are teaching you now is the Lord's teaching. We who are alive on the day the Lord came, we will, will not go, we will not go ahead of those who have died. Amen. There will be the shout of comment. Listen. Hallelujah. The archangel's voice, the sound of God's trumpet. Amen. And the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died believing in Christ. Amen. Those, amen, in Christ will rise to life first. Amen. I can repeat it. Amen. 
Hallelujah. There will be the shout of comment, the, the archangel's voice, the sound of God's trumpet, and the Lord himself will come down from heaven. Those who have died believing in Christ, amen, that's wonderful, amen, will rise to life first. Then we gather up along with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the hair. Amen. In the hair. And so we will always be with the Lord. So then encourage one, encourage one another with these words. Amen. Hallelujah. This word is so powerful. Let us quickly read in the book of Revelation, chapter 10. Amen. Hallelujah. We are here in the Revelation, chapter 10. We start from verse 1. That one we read at uh, 1 in Thessalonian, Thessalonian, chapter 4, verse 13 to verse 8. 13 to 18. Now, Revelation, chapter 10. 10 verse, we start from verse 1. Then I saw another mighty angel. I'm going to read until verse 7. Read it together and understand what the scripture says. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down out of heaven. He was wrapped in the cloud and had a rainbow around his head. His face was like the sun, and his legs were like pillar of fire. Amen. His head a small scroll open in the in his hand. He put his right foot on the sea, on the sea, and his left foot on the land, and called out in a loud voice that sounded like the roar of lion. After he had called out, the seven thunders answered with a roar. Amen. As soon as they spoke, I was about to write, but I heard a voice speak from heaven Keep secret to what the seven thunders have said. Do not write it down. Then the angel that I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand to heaven and took a vow in the name of God who lives forever Amen. And ever, who created heaven, earth, and those, and the sea, and everything in them. The angel when, amen, sorry, the angel said, hmm? yes, it's right. The angel said, there will be no more delay. It means there will be no more time. Amen. But, when the seventh angel blows his trumpet, then God will accomplish his secret plan as he announced it to his servant, the, the prophet. Amen. Let us read quickly in the book of Revelation chapter 20. Then men we start from verse 12. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 20. From verse 12. Let us read quickly. Amen. And I saw the dead, great and small alike, standing before the throne. Books were open and there. Then another book was open. The book of the living. There are books open. and The book of living. The dead were Judge according to what they had done, as recorded in the books. Then the sea gave up 
its dead. Death and the world of the deaf also gave up. The dead they heard, and all were judged according to what they had done. Amen. Then death and death and the world of death dead were thrown into the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. This lake of fire is the second death. Amen. Whoever did not have his name written in the book of living was thrown into the lake of fire. May the Lord bless his living word that we just come to read now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. May the Lord God bless you once more. We come in your precious time, precious presence, to talk about the life. We are trying to, treat, to teach regarding the disposition of Holy Spirit this Sunday morning. Remember, God gave us Monday until Saturday, but when we gave you this time, we just, some of the people can just take five minutes, four minutes, one minute, just read the, reading the title, then you forgot while we are talking about life to prepare you. Because when this life stops, you're going to have another body. This body is different with this envelope of flesh. And that one, it cannot die when you've been prepared yourself. How to prepare yourself? Because you are unable to prepare yourself by which way can help you to prepare yourself? It means you must dispose, give a good disposition yourself, serving you here, this sense and your eyes throughout the throne of God. The throne of God is what? It's this word, because this word came from the throne of God. The revelation we are reading here, remember, the prophet of God, John, divine, he was there in heavenly place he saw the mighty things the glory of god the power of god the mysterious things in the in the heavenly place so when he came he wrote this book of revelation it's not been written regarding his mind or he did learn it from the university so he came no it was by revelation and all the things been tells to him to keep it secretly it was for the time we are living so when god sent his seventh angel the prophet you see the prophet when he came he didn't come to preach to preach us him he didn't come to preach us that been went to uh, learn from the university. No, it was a simple man. You see, he came to preach us as Apostle Paul says to us in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, this gospel I came to preach to you. He says that also in the book of uh, Galatia. Uh, if you read it from uh, verse uh, uh, what, chapter 1 from verse 8 to verse 12, you see what I'm saying here. You see, he said, this I have, this intelligence, this suggest, this I'm preaching to you, this word I'm preaching to you, I didn't learn it somewhere, it didn't come from one organization, it didn't come from our, uh, what I can say, ancestral things, no, it, not from our cultures, no, it's been revealed by the Lord, you see, the word being revealed is the only things Oh, the only way that God provides for us to be saved, to prepare ourselves for the rapture. As we came to talk about the rapture this morning, that's why we took, we took these three chapters. We're supposed to take even four, five. Because of time, we read only three. But before we finish, we're going to read one. So you will understand the importance of Looking the baptism of Holy Ghost while you are still living, while, while the composition of God is still here, while the grace of God, 
the mercy of God remain again. Because when it will be handed, when the time will be handed, because it's the only one handed time, the devil doesn't have any power to control because himself it being created. You see, but God allowed some of the things to manifest it, his sons and daughter to show the dead darkness place that the son of light we will not go ever to you. They will repent and take position as it passed in the time of uh, the servant of Almighty God, Job. You see, if you read that book before, the book of Psalm, the book of Job, you will see that is what the servant of God was saving God. But one day the devil is going to accuse them as they are always accusing us. You see, but God testimony him. He said, no. That is my rightness servant. He always stand with my on my will. He said, No, is a rich is a rich person. Just give me his life. I will he will insult you. He's gonna go away from you. The Lord God said, No, I gave him to you, but don't take his life. Okay? Because he doesn't have a power to take his life. So when the devil went to Job. He started doing all of those the things. He, break, he brought them to be a poor man, a really poor man, and the sickness hated him. You see, but he did stand on the scripture. Even his woman, his wife, his beloved wife came, his lovely wife, his wife came to him and said, No, uh, uh, you have just to, to respond badly to God so you can die. He said, No, don't talk like a foolish wife. God gives, is the only one who gave and uh, took back. He's going to give again if you want. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. So, in that time, Joe took position not on what was coming in his mind or not on what his friends, those who was Christian believers like him, coming to him, tells him, you are wrong here, while he was not wrong. Do you understand? Because God cannot allow these things to happen in your life if you were standing with God's will. You see, they could not understand why sometimes some of the things came to us happen in our life is the will of God. So, on what we're reading for us to go and finish, in the book of the Thessalonians, Thessalonian chapter 4, from verse 18 to, uh, 13 to 18, we did understand, the Bible says to us, as we are alive, we will not go fastly. It means, like, you said, you go with the precipitation, you say, no, we have us first because we are alive. Because then they passed away, they died, uh, they died already, they died already. But the scripture said, no, those one, it's like on the time the Lord Jesus Christ was, before he died on the cross, when he, he shouted, this powerful shouted in the book of Matthew chapter 7, uh, chapter 27, if you read from verse 40 up, you'll see what I'm telling you here. The shout of the Lord Jesus Christ was the shout of command. And we saw all the, 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 the people passed away from Adam to John uh, the baptized. All of them came out and they been appear on the city of Jerusalem and the people saw them. Do you understand? So in the time we are living, we were waiting only that we came to read here. In the book of Revelation, on let me read it in the seven, uh, seventh verse. Let us read quickly. I think is yeah, but amen. Verse seven. But when the seventh angel blows his trumpet, then God will accomplish his secret plan as he announced it to his servant, the prophet. Because the prophet Amos says God always revealed his secret to his servant prophet. We read there, John wanted to write what the seven thunders was says, but the angel who was with him he said, No, John, don't write, don't write it. Let, it. let it be sealed 
it will be for the end time. So this scripture being fulfilled, but the people who reject it. You see how we are talking the people who reject the baptism of Holy Ghost. The people who reject completely the Holy Ghost because they want to stand with the name of Jesus Christ, but with the system built with the devil. That is a problem we have in this world today. You see? The people who reject the perfect will God send it by the prophet to prepare us. You see? But the people still standing and waiting, they say, now the trumpet shall sound. If the trumpet sounded by in Canada or the trumpet sounded in Australia, the difference of time, maybe in that time in Canada, they are sleeping. In Australia, they're still waking, wake up and waking, doing movement, all of those things. When the trumpet sounded in China and the people in Africa, they're sleeping. You see, it means God will not be, uh, uh, what I can say, a good father. He did something, uh, he didn't manifest his life correctly, love correctly. He loves Australian people. He left those people in Africa die just like this because they didn't listen the trumpet. You don't understand. So when the Bible says something, don't took it just literally the way it's been written. You must get into the perfect will of God. And the perfect will of God came from his servant's prophet. Because God himself is hide because he's a spirit. This, that's why the reason he created men and the prophets are different with other men because God built them to listen his powerful voice as an example we gave to you with prophet Moses in the Old Testament with the children of Israel. You understand? The thunder, it was the voice of God, but for them, they ran away because they were, they were about to die. But the prophet was listening, prophet, my servant, Moses, my servant. He was listening to the voice of God like this, but for them, it was the thunders. Do you understand? So, the reason why we came here this morning, for you to, uh, to recognize the will of God in the time we are living is the book of 1 Thessalonians from uh, chapter 4 from verse 18 says to us, if we can return there quickly and read in it, amen, you see, let go to verse 15. What we are thinking you now is the Lord's teaching. We who are alive on the day the Lord came will not go ahead. The day the Lord came, the Lord came today. Regarding in the book of Revelation chapter 10 from verse 1, if you just read uh, uh, what I can say, read it, is the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ as a son of God. Because when he came in his first coming, he came as a son of man, a prophet, and God dwelt in him. And that's why I was saying everything I'm doing is not me. Believe, who believe in me, believe in God, because the work I'm doing is not my own work, it's the work of God. It was the second function of God in the dispensation of son. That's why being called the son of man himself. He didn't call as a what not whatever. He did say, I'm a son of man, the prophet. That's why John the Baptist cannot be there because we were supposed to be, they're supposed to be two different prophets. Then the mind is supposed to be differently. So we started fighting one another. In the time, in one generation, in one age, the prophet came only one. That's what John the Baptist is supposed to return back home and Jesus continue his, uh, what against what's been promised by the prophet regarding his coming. You see, and that time we are living, he came as a son of God and the third coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, he came as a son of David. Do you understand? to reign, because God gave the promise to David regarding the book of uh, Psalms uh, chapter 89. If you read it from the beginning till the end, God gave the promise to David, one of your son will reign to your, in your throne eternal. So it was not a fleshly 
a son of David, but it was the Lord Jesus Christ in his stead coming to reign ever. You see, so in the second the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, we read in the book of Revelation chapter 10, and we did understand the mighty angel come from heaven. He did have a book, you see, as the Bible says with my English here, you can understand that. That is what the book of life being taken away from Eden because it fell in the garden of Eden. But that book came again because remember, They've been there with the tree of acknowledge and the tree of life. Acknowledge what the church. If the wrong interpretation came there, the people fell and the death took place and the judgment stand in front of you. Do you understand? But those were the recognize the sound as we are reading it. Let us so quickly do it again. Amen. Hallelujah. What we are teaching you now is the Lord's teaching. We who are alive on the day of the Lord came, the Lord comes, amen, will not go ahead of those who have died in Christ, not those who have died out of Christ. They reject the voice of God, amen. Let us continue, amen. There will be Amen. Hallelujah. There will be the, the, the shout of command. There will be the shout of command. As we said, the Lord before he died in the cross, he shouted and all the saints from Adam, Abraham, all of them, Jeremiah, all the saints until John the Baptist been rose up and they been appear in the city of Jerusalem and the people recognize it, recognize them. Read in the book of Matthew chapter 27 from verse 40 until in the hand, you'll see what I'm telling you right now because it doesn't have a time to read all the scriptures here. Let us continue. The first one is what? You have to recognize those three. The first one is the shout of comment. The second one is the archangel's voice. And the third one is the sound of God's trumpet. The sound of God's trumpet is the gospel of the time you are living. The message of the hand time that we are coming to preach you, the revelation of Jesus Christ, is this message. The Lord sent one angel. The angel of God. Remember what we explained to you in this scripture, we have the first angel he came in the age of Ephesian is Paul. You see, he's the one who came to establish the faith in the people of nation, the Gentile we have. That's why God took him, changed him, you see, and he sent him to us. Himself, he was glorified to say, I'm apostles of uh, uh, Gentiles people, of nation people, you see, because the Lord also been rejected. So he is the one who came to put the foundation of this faith. You see, that is the, the apostles manifested from that day of the Pentecost. And the second one we see it, this man, Irene, and all of them, Martin, Columba, Luther, uh, Wesley, and the Seventh one is William Maron Branham. He came with the message to preach us the message of hand time. So the gospel of Christ, he brought to us this message, is the, that we are reading here. God's trumpet is the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ in the time you are living. That has been correctly interpreted. That doesn't mix with the mind of human being. That brought the right life of the Lord once again in us as it was in the day of Pentecost. You send this, you understand. So we saw here the Bible said the shout of command is not someone else. As the Lord shouted that day, the Lord cannot come again with that body as the people are stay, staying, waiting. Jesus Christ came with that flesh, it been 
uh, with it in the first coming in Galilee. No, he came with the body of his bride. That's why we talk about the prophet. Because God revealed his will and word, his secret by his servant prophet, as we read in the book of Revelation chapter 10. From verse 7, at the verse 7. Do you understand? So, if the Lord God in the second function, because we doesn't have three God, we doesn't worship three God, only one God. In his second function, he sent his son to come as a land, but God was in himself because he's the one who was doing all of those things. Do you understand? That's why I say, you really have, truly, truly, I'm telling you to believe in me. Who doesn't believe to me? Believe to God. Philip asked him in the question in the John chapter 14, he said, Philip, who saw me? So God, who recognized me, recognized God. In the book of Luke 17, chapter 17, verse 20, when the Pharisees and all of those things came to, uh, to the Lord, the priest said, can you show us the kingdom? He said, the kingdom remain with you here. The kingdom was the word manifested, the word being interpreted correctly. The word doesn't mix with the mind of people that is the mind of christ that is the eternal mind of god from the beginning being manifested that the first one that tradition god says spoken word for the first time let the light be and the light was there so you see god manifested in the flesh of his bride the lord jesus christ came as he prepared one bride to wait for him, it was the time of marriage. You see, the time we are living, the reason why he could not get a wife, but he came in life, he's supposed to, because he was hitting, was walking, was talking, was doing the things like us. He was feeling tired also. Do you understand? But he didn't survive like us. Why? Because he's supposed to prepare a bride, and that bride is a spiritual bride. And the bride of Jesus Christ, if you are, you are pretending to be a bride of the Lord, you must recognize what? The shout of command. Because it's the first thing is preparing you, as it was in the Old Testament with the Israel, they was listening to the shout of command. You see, the sound, uh, what I can say, the, 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 the trumpet, the sound of trumpet to prepare the, 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 the people to say the war is coming, the Philistine is coming to fight us. You must be ready to prepare the army and the weapon, all of those things to go and fight the enemy. So the enemy took the place with the system built, you see, with all worldwide organization to come and destroy God's will in people. In the seventh, the saying we are the servant of God, but the devil came, took place, and destroy. Do you understand the perfect will of God? And they impose, they build the system of devil, which it started for a long time since the beginning. And this time they did put it everywhere. So the minority, the minority of people, sorry. The minority of people, they are the one who recognize those three things we are saying here for us to finish. The shout of command, the archangel voice, amen, and the, uh, 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 the, uh, and the sound of God's trumpet, you see. So those ones, they've been dying in Christ, they listen to that when the archangel of God came, amen, he didn't come to shout that for himself, for his family, no, for his only church, no. It was for the worldwide because the Lord came not to be manifested as the people as waiting for him to come with its body of Galilee, but he used the body of his bride. This representation was for all of us as we came also this morning to tell you, prepare yourself because the bride of Jesus Christ in the book of Revelation chapter 4, she been taken away. Do you understand? That's why the scripture says we will not advance them. Then when this shout, the command, the sound of God, uh, uh, the trumpet came, those who died in Christ, 
they are already in the sixth dimension as we explained to you last time is the rest they are resting here waiting for us do you understand that's why we said in the book of revelation chapter 4 the bride of jesus christ is not she's not remaining here she's already here so as we stay alive as we recognize the sound the shout and uh, the this uh, the, the sound the shout and the, the voice those three things makes us to be ready we are waiting waiting only if we didn't pass away today we are waiting only what to disappear because all those bam when we come there is nothing can take you up it will take you away if you did you know you, you did not been prepared do you understand the reason we came here so you will wait what we read in the book of revelation chapter 20 what all the remaining in the seas all the remaining to the ancients all what they died in the have they've been buried here they will come to understand and be going to the throne and those one they will find it good because yourself you can imagine it when you didn't receive it this you know, you are guilt already you see that's why the rapture been with us here how it's been with us when you recognize you in you are already inside of the process of rapture but when you deny it you are not in the process it's in the process uh, of rapture. it means uh, rapture it means you reject as we are talking about the people of reject the uh, the holy ghost you understand because when someone is prepared himself in this march to reach this level of perfection level to receive the battles of holy ghost which is the lord himself in his second coming as he came with the son of this what i can say the son of god it means the holy ghost regarding the book of john chapter 14 you will see he came to dwell in us read it from verse 15 to verse 23 it's been clear written there you see the, in one time the world wide will not see me but you you shall see me that's the promise of the lord you see we will continue to next sunday may the lord god bless you the, let's say it with the peace of the lord those three chapters we will continue with it when we're gonna read other book of revelation is here for you to understand what time we are living which position you are taking are you still a church member or you are a member in the mystical body of Jesus Christ? It means you are in the rapture process and you are ready to be taken away. Because the bride of Jesus Christ, she's not remaining here. Remember the example of Enoch. Enoch, that we're going to talk about next Sunday. It was the seventh generation from Seth. Do you understand? It didn't pass in the tribulation. The only person passed to the tribulation, it was Noah. It's those Christians, they believe, but they've been standing in the system, you see, of the church. But the bride of Jesus Christ is standing with the voice of God. The voice of God is recording for you. Do you understand? We're going to talk about it next Sunday, so you will get acknowledged and take position now to be in the process and so you can be helpful to live in the perfection life so how people can say we are here with this sinner body but they can live we can survive we can stand in the perfection life it's very important we're gonna talk about it may the lord god bless you stay with the peace of god which is shalom bye